Meanwhile, the fallout continues from that grand jury report on clergy sex abuse here in Pennsylvania. One of the 300 priests identified in that report was a drum corps instructor for cadets. Ja'Kai Ferris has more. Youth Education and the Arts Chairman Doug Rutherford says the organization terminated Don Kramer after his name appeared among the 300 priests accused of sexual misconduct in a report by the Pennsylvania Attorney General. It took the next two business days to validate his contract, talk to our lawyers, confirm with uh, everything with the staff and then we terminated his contract. Rutherford says Kramer passed all of the required background checks and there were no incidents reported. Kramer marched with the cadets in the 1990s and then later became a brass instructor with the cadets too, a YEA drum corps that tours on the weekend. According to the AG's report, the Department of Homeland Security investigated Kramer after he chatted online with someone charged with possessing child pornography. According to the report, during that conversation, quote, Kramer mentioned he wanted to go to Mexico where he could rent boys, end quote. Kramer was not arrested because he didn't have any child pornography. The report also says in 2013, the chancellor of the Diocese of Harrisburg wrote about a forensic examination of an electronic device that Kramer possessed, saying Kramer, quote, was definitely looking for underage boys, teens, end quote. The report says Kramer was granted dispensation from the priesthood in 2014. Rutherford, meantime, says dealing with sexual misconduct allegations against the cadet's former director, George Hopkins, earlier this year helped YEA deal with this situation and ensure it had the policies in place to keep members safe. And be able to execute in a timely manner and also be able to handle it appropriately and professionally for all people involved. That was Ja'Kai Ferris reporting.